Every woman in some way or the other is conditioned to bear the onus of keeping it all together, of connecting, of keeping the family safe and happy. So when a woman dares, like I dared in my imagination, to step out of convention, to break the mold, to to step out of the box of my 25-year-old relationship, the first and immediate fear is, of course, how will I be loved? How will I be validated? Will I be ostracized? What will other people say? Because we've been conditioned to be tethered to the opinions of others. So the first thing that comes up when you want to be yourself is the battle between yourself and others. Who am I for others versus who am I for myself? This is the eternal conflict. This is why we don't make big monumental decisions in our lives with courage because we're always weighing what other people will think and how they will feel versus following our own voice. So how do we negotiate this conflict with compassion, with consciousness? So that was my second challenge. Okay, I don't want to do this with anger and unconsciousness. I want to be able to own my own sovereignty with right and might, but with compassion. So it took me two years to negotiate this. You know, we don't want to be impulsive and reactive. We want to process. So I wanted to process, why was I playing a role for so long? What what was the purpose of my role? So my role in my life was to be the savior, to be the ultimate, you know, good girl, to follow the way. And in that, I lost myself. It was not anyone's fault on the outside. It was not even my fault. It was just my conditioning. So women out there should not blame themselves or shame themselves or blame their partners. This is about the awakening of the of the self. So you have to go through this period of living asleep to wake up. So so my fears were were about battling the conditioning versus the evolution. And conditioning is always suppressing the authentic self and the authentic self is longing to come out. So how do we negotiate that? So it took me two years of arduous inner work because I loved everyone in my system, in my old system. I didn't want to just discard them. This is not about discarding anyone. This is about truly divorcing the inauthentic parts of our old life. So that's what I was divorcing. I wasn't divorcing my partner. I was divorcing my own inauthentic self. But culture doesn't have room for that. You know, it says that you're shaming yourself or you're failing. So I had to negotiate those labels within my own being and come to the realization, I'm not doing anything wrong. I haven't failed. I am actually speaking my truth. So I was getting married to my true self and divorcing my inauthentic self. And that's what marriage and divorce should be about.